Welcome to Access Africa. I'm Yusuf Gamenedin. This episode, we are at the headquarters of Ethiopian Airlines here at Bole International Airport in Addis Ababa. The carrier was founded on December 21, 1945, as part of Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie's modernization plans. Now serving 82 international destinations, Ethiopian Airlines is one of the biggest on the continent and one of the fastest growing companies in the industry. So after close to 70 years of flying, what does the future hold for Ethiopian Airlines? We sit down for an exclusive interview with the group CEO. Ethiopia is in a political, politically volatile neighborhood, thinking what's happening in South Sudan and neighboring Somalia. I mean, there is a lot of activity, a considerable amount of violence as well. How much of a distraction is that for Ethiopian Airlines and your plans to grow? It is. Uh, it is. It's uh, quite a challenge because uh, we we need to have a very very robust security system, and we did. Uh, of course, it's uh, additional cost for us and additional uh, uh, challenge for us. Uh, but uh, so far, I think uh, I believe we are managing uh, we, Ethiopia. As you know, although you are right, it's surrounded by. Uh, quite challenging uh, environment, but the security system in Ethiopia is very, very strong. Uh, we have uh, a strong belief and uh, we work together. And uh, going forward, we have to, we, we have to strengthen, strengthen both our uh, ground security and flight security, mm -hmm. and that's what we are doing. 